And um, I said, well, you know, I think I'm going to, I got information from some folks that there was an individual that was providing silences and firearms to the Banditos, which is an outlaw motorcycle gang. And I set up a, uh, I knew this individual had firearms. And as it turns out, he had three burglary convictions in his past. So the way it works, if you have three violent felony convictions, which at that time, the state of Texas considered burglary a violent conviction. If you have three violent convictions in your past and you are in possession of firearms, you're looking at 15 years mandatory minimum in federal prison. So I knew that this individual was a good target to, uh, to, to, to basically run some paper on him or a search warrant on his house. And I had information he had firearms in his house. So we ran a search warrant on his house. And as it turns out, we pulled, I think, three pistols out of it. And I remember having a conversation with the guy. And again, the, the intent was not to put him in prison. The intent was to get information about him providing firearms to the Banditos and then maybe make a case on them. Uh, so I remember having a conversation with him along the lines like, hey, look, you know, here's what time it is. You have three grunts in your house. You're a three time convicted felon. You're looking at 15 years mandatory minimum, but that's not how it needs to go. And he said, uh, OK, I'm listening. So I said, hey, I understand that you're might be associated with uh, Jeff Pike, who was the president of the Bandidos at the time, and you might be providing firearms and other things to this group to, to make them, you know, a little bit more violent. He's like, well, you know, you, you know, that may be true, but he says, that's the least you need to be worried about. What you really ought to be concerned about is a group called the Aryan Brotherhood of Texas. And oh, by the way, there's a general in the Aryan Brotherhood of Texas who lives in Tomball. As it turns out, I lived in Tomball. And I said, well, okay, yeah, maybe I should start taking a look at these guys.